What's up, everybody? Welcome to IT Security Labs. And today we're completing a machine called Deeper from Hack My VM. And this machine here can be downloaded from this website. So just go to hackmyvm.eu. If you click Anonymous, you can find a list of virtual machines here. And these machines are free. They run in VirtualBox, most of them. And the one that I'm going after is called Deeper here from this person. You hit that download and then you import it in VirtualBox. I have already done that and I found out that the IP address for mine is this one. So let's see if I can get there. You need to find this IP address from your DHCP server or using a NetDiscover. For now, I know that mine is online, Nmap, and then I'll just do a VV so I can see the results in real time. As you can see, I see port 80 and 22 are open. And while it's running, I don't want to waste any time. I'll just jump in and start looking at port 80. And that's why I like the VV option. Here, see, let's see where these lights lead. And if you look here and go to the bottom, I see that it's from an Unsplash. This is just a website hosting. I don't think these ones will help us. So these images are not hosted here. They, they are coming from external. So let's see where they're coming from. View, page source. And this is the full URL of an external site where these images are coming from. But here we see a comment that says go deeper. So one of the lessons we're going to learn here is enumeration and how to look into things. I guess this is CTFE. So I'm going to assume that they mean it's a directory. I've done a lot of these to know that that's what they probably mean. In this case, you have to go even deeper and we were right, it's a directory. So let's check page source, page source, and here, go even deeper. So that's another directory, probably. If it's not, then we can find something else. So let's go here and paste it. So the goal here is just check your source code if you can. And here's another image. So we'll go back to the page source. Now start digging. That's what this is saying. I don't see anything. Let me scroll down. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, I see there's a pass here. It looks like it's in hex. So let's use Cyberchef to see what this password is. Just say Cyberchef. And we find this one. Let's open it two actually. Cyberchef again. This one, I would like to say from hex. And here we go. We need to paste this text down here. Oh, and now we get a base64 string. So we'll copy that. Now, this time we have from base64. Okay. So as you can see, it's now saying, I will go deeper. So we take that, copy that. That's the password, by the way. Now we need to find the user. If you're not paying attention on the source code here, you notice that all the way at the bottom here, this bar goes left and right and we, we didn't see a user here but if we scroll down it took me a while to find this if we go all the way to the right we have user and with these dots here they don't make any sense for now but we believe these are morse code from doing so many ctfs i've seen this as morse code so i'll copy that and morse decoder someone is a morse decoder online so we need to give them the actual mouse here. So the user is Alice. So we have Alice and we have a password. So we can now come back here and say, okay, we're only at 22 and 80. So we're going to actually try to SSH as Alice at the IP address. All right, and say yes. And the password, we got it from here. Now we give them the password, paste. All right, we're in as Alex, Alice. So what I like to do here, since I have a password, I would like to do sudo dash L. What can I run as root? This is part of my enumeration process. Alice is not a sudo. All right, so I can say um, ls dash la, because I mean, Alice is home directory. So is there bash history? Is there something? I see a dot local or oh, user dot text as our flag. And then I see bob.txt is a hidden file, so I would not have seen it if I didn't do it in ls.la. So cat.bob.txt. This again looks like another hex. 
So we go back to Cyberchef. This one is from Hex. So we're learning how to decode stuff. Another base 64. Uh, so I could have just given it to this. It's the same deal. Okay, so here's what it looks like a password again. So we're going to switch user to Bob. And give them password. Okay. CD to go to Bob's uh, home directory. sudo l again. And we paste nothing. So ls dash la. Oh, I see root.zip here. I don't have anything else. So this is what we have been doing, you know, finding files and doing something. So unzip root.zip. apt install unzip. Okay, so they we actually cannot. Okay. So let's get this root.zip to our Kali machine. I'll use SCP. Okay, so we use uh, a tool called SCP and we're saying, hey, SCP is Bob to this machine. In their home directory, they have a root.zip and I'd like it to be here. Password for Bob. All right, so we downloaded it. Now we have root.zip in our Kali. We can say unzip root.zip. Okay, root.zip has a password. This one belongs to Bob, so I'm just going to try Bob. If it doesn't, then we can use tools like fcrack zip to see if we can extract. Or oh, I guess it extracted root.zip with Bob. So, okay, <laughs> I was hoping to work harder than that. So now that we have root.zip, we have a root.txt. I hit my password. That's root's password. So I guess password guessing it was password part of this as well. So we choose a root. Give them that password and we are in ls get root.txt. That's our flag. All right. So that was our machine. A little bit CTFE, but we still learned a few things here. This is how we sharpen our skills. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for being here and I'll see you next time.